Hey everybody, it is Whoopi, it is Lindy Eldridge, your Chief Happiness Officer of the Happiness Jungle, the creator and CEO of Cuddle Me Love, the host of I'm Crazy But You Can't Lock Me Up. And I'm here today because I felt very compelled to come on and share with you, why not you? You know, there are things that are going on in this crazy world of ours every second of every day that we don't have control over. But yet so many of us are allowing it to control us. And if anything should happen to you today, I hope that you get to listen to me and you go, you know, Wooby is right. Why not me? Why can't I have the life that I wanna live? And you can, but you gotta start some time in order to get that. Life is complicated, no question about it. But a lot of us are living in fear. We're living in trying to control things that are totally 100% out of our control. So let me give you, for instance, many of you know the Cuddle Me Love body pillows are being delayed because of the shipping that's coming out of China, right? And for the last three months, I've been waiting for these pillows to come because I have so many pre-orders from my customers that want to be cuddled and comforted. However, it's out of my control when they're going to get here. I am praying that they're coming by weekend. It may be next week, but here's what is in my control. Loving my customers, each and every one of you, and keeping you updated with what is going on. And you know what? I greatly appreciate your support and your love. That's in my control. Anything else is not in my control. Why not you? Why can't you do something that you want to do and accept that there is a process that we have to go through? There are going to be bumps in the road when we're going through it, but we just have to make a decision that we want to do it. You see the Cuddle Me Love body pillows, they're here. They're in Charleston. They're in, on U.S. soil. That is great news for me. Great news for me. And it's great news for all of you because as long as we accept the process, everything is going to come. Everything is going to happen just the way it's supposed to happen, right? Now they're stuck at the train rail and there's nothing I could do about it. Trust me when I tell you, I have tried, but I have to let it go. So when I think about speaking to you today about why not you, how about if I help you with the process of challenge? That's what I want to do. I want to give each and every one of you a tip that is going to inspire you to never give up on your dreams, never give up on the things that you want. And even though this world is really crazy, the government is whacked out and the people are whacked out and everything is so whacked out, now is the time that you can reinvent yourself. You can live with something that you are so diehard passionate about, just like I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about speaking on your stages. I'm passionate about the Cuddle Me Love body pillow. But within time, everything happens. Here's what I never give up on. I never give up on me. And as you are meeting new people and venturing out, it's always about who knows who. Who could gravitate towards you because you're so kind, you're compassionate, you're soothing instead of drama fested, right? When you are able to really connect with people, sometimes it's all about who knows who, who could lead you to the open doors that you want, and then it is in your control to walk through those open doors and to see what is going on there. There are many clues. There really are. I don't know if anybody is able to chit chat with me. Hold on a second. Let me just scroll down on my screen. I have no idea. I have no idea if any of you are trying to communicate with me or not, but here's what I do know. You're very special. You're very unique and you got a lot to offer. I open up my inbox to you for you to be able to connect with me. I could even chat with you. I could help you 
figure out the first step to going in the places and in the directions that you want. You deserve it. As long as you are interacting with me and you have a positive mindset that change is good, it's not fear, change is good. The one thing that I've learned how to do with my clients and even from stages, even from my books, is to help you give yourself permission to accept the unacceptable, to accept the flawlessness, to accept that we are not perfect. A matter of fact, I am abnormally normal. That's right, that's who I am. So I wanted to come on today on Facebook Live because I haven't done it in quite some time. And I want you all to realize that no matter what, when you could connect with great people, connect with them. When you could move out of your own way, move out of your own way. When you have control to be able to feed yourself positive energy, positive messages, that's what it's, what it's all about. You have everything that it takes to have everything in your life fit the way it's supposed to. You know, I uh, live my life every day. I wake up every morning and the first thing I say is thank you God for allowing me to open up my eyes today. And then I play music and then I'll listen to the news to find out what is going on because I'm concerned, but I'm not too involved in the news of what doesn't serve me. Don't know what to say, don't know what to do, but I do love on people. And I love on people each and every day because that's my special power. What's your special power? What is it that you truly, truly want? Do you need help figuring it out? then inbox me. I give you permission. And that's my message today, everybody. Over and out and forward and beyond. That's where I'm going. You want to come? Inbox me. I'll take you along for the journey that's going to lead you to why not you. Yes, you could have it all. Don't allow, ever, don't ever allow the system to control you. Do not allow the system to paralyze you. Do not allow the system to dictate how you should live your life full out. I am, I'm going to leave you with this. So I talk about unemployment now a lot because I honestly believe 100% that if you're capable of going back to work, you should be going back to work because all you're allowing the system to do, the government to do, is to dictate your lifestyle. And you may feel that you're getting paid more than what you were getting paid when you were working, but everything comes to an end. And when your unemployment comes to an end, then what are you going to do? See, right now, there is a world of opportunity for each and every one of us. There are jobs out there that are even giving you incentives to go and work for them. But you are literally allowing the government to go ahead and dictate how you're going to live. They are dictating how much money you could bring into your home when you could be bringing in more money. And because today's right now has so much opportunity, you get to live your passion, but you got to start. That's the key. You have to start somewhere and don't look at other people and their success. Don't call me and say, well, Lindy, you are so successful and look at you grow and look at what you're doing. Guys, you have no idea what's going on in the back of the curtain. You don't know, but I'm here to share with you. It's not easy, but it is possible. It's possible. So I want you to get out of the government control mindset because right now you think you believe that you're living a great life because you're getting unemployment. And I'm here to tell you, no, you're not. What's going to happen? when it stops. What's going to happen when all of a sudden there's a flood of people that are now applying for the jobs that you wish that you had? Your wishes could come true right now. You can apply for those jobs that you want. 
you could prove yourself. You do not need college. You do not need anything but your own belief in you. So you walk in with posture. When you call for an interview, you have posture and you're willing to learn something new. There's nothing better than on the job training. Many people are already offering you that. You're just not going after it because you're getting too comfortable with unemployment. If I'm hurting your feelings, I'm sorry. My name is Lindy Eldridge. I do not mean to offend anybody. I just mean to help you out of this funk that you're in. Funk. That's what I said, funk. So if you heard something else, that's on you. <laughs> With that, everybody, God bless you. Whatever your higher power is, then I want you to start talking to it loud. Don't whisper loud. Talk to the universe. Talk to your higher power and follow the light. Because there is a light and there are signs. And maybe, just maybe, right now, here's your light. Go after what you want. And inbox me if you want. That's in your control. Bye-bye for now, everybody.